We're back with another one, man. Tier Zoo, one of my channels that I freaks with. Silverback Gorilla versus Grizzly Bear, okay? So we're going to be looking at who's going to be winning. A Grizzly Bear or a Quaymax, man? We're going to go ahead and jump into it, man. Silverback Gorilla and the Grizzly Bear, two of the most fearsome builds in the game. Because they're not playable on the same servers, the question of which of these is more powerful, or specifically which one would win in 1v1 combat, I'm gonna go is with a the... common subject of debate on the game's form. I'm going to go with the bear. So today, we're going to delve into the stats and abilities of both of these yeah, I think overall they got the the bear got better stats. I would I would personally go with the bear. I like gorillas more than bears. I would never step foot in any area in an enclosed space with a freaking gorilla. All right, because I, I I enjoy breathing. But if it's a one v one on Skibbity, I think I think the grizzly bear gonna win. Powerful builds and to determine which one would come out on top in a death match. Let's start with the gorilla. The question is, are you picking man or gorilla? Mind you, the man is a regular man no weapons and you have to fight to the death i'm for sure picking a man for sure for sure in my primate tier list video i ranked the gorilla as oh that's me and it was the only primate other than the human to get that top tier rank and there's good reason for this just have a look at this thing's base stats the gorilla is Good. easily the most powerful of all the primates, with a power stat well beyond most <laughs> mammals within its weight class. Those legendary its stats allow it to climb trees with ease. And keep in mind, they do this without investing in any of the perks which make climbing easier, like cling pads or hooked claws. No, gorillas now gorillas are cool. They're super alone, cool, and they still make it look easy. Yeah. And so it should go without saying that those arms can also toss most other players around like a rag doll, <laughs> and can dish out some serious damage in a short so flurry of blows. Gorillas also have massive canine teeth, Dang. and although these are mostly for intimidation, they yeah, can DK. Act as a <laughs> attack option if the situation calls for it. Mobility-wise, they move surprisingly quick given how short their back legs are. While not great at distance running, their burst movement potential is shockingly high. Defensively, gorillas don't have much to talk. Why did he move so freaking fast? Dude, it was fast. I didn't know it was that fast. They move surprisingly quick given how short their back legs are. While not great at distance running, their God burst dang. movement is shockingly high. Defensively, gorillas don't have much to talk about. Their thick hide and bulky <laughs> muscles offer some protection, but with only skin and fur covering their exterior, most attacks will be effective against them. Luckily, their large size gives Dur them a pretty generous too. point pool, so they should be able to tank a decent That's amount of hits zero? in a pinch. Stealth-wise, gorillas are above average. Their coloration works pretty well in dense forests, although not as well as true camouflage patterns would. Because they walk on their hands and feet rather than hooves, they can move much more quietly than most herbivores, although not quite as silently as builds with padded paws and retractable claws. And finally, intelligence-wise, gorillas are far above average. Appreciate it. Their complex Thank social structure requires significant investment to the intelligence skill tree in order Appreciate to unlock that. it. And in doing so, gorillas also gained access to basic tool use and team tactics. The most common tool use tactic seen in gorillas is the use of sticks and rocks in order to more effectively deal with termites <laughs> right. from their mounds. Next, let's switch over to the brown bear. In my bear tier list, I rated the brown bear at the low end of S tier. Taking a look at its stats, we can immediately see just how overpowered this thing yeah, is. Yeah, it's good. Although not quite as Why powerful not as the polar bear, it's still one of the strongest carnivorous mammal builds in the entire game. One of the few that is able to take down builds like the moose, bison, and elk solo. Its power stat is just crazy high, mostly due to the insane I would go damage with a bear can dish out using its claw swipe attack. I'd go with a bear. It's not uncommon for a single swipe from a grizzly to one hit most players, as it deals both blunt force damage and slashing damage in no small amount. Unlike the gorilla, bears also <laughs> regularly use the Nah, cook. Nah, they they say like brown and grizzly bears are the aggressive one. The the black bears, the negro bears, they they alright as long as you don't mess with them. Man, I see a brown bear, I'm a piss on myself. Black bear must have some cubs around or something. Cause black bears don't usually really attack people like that. From a grizzly to one hit most players, as it deals both blunt force damage and yeah. slashing damage in no small amount. Unlike the gorilla, bears also regularly use their teeth in combat, rather than just for intimidation. And in this aspect, they excel as well. Defensively, the brown bear is quite sturdy. It has thick, loose skin, similar to the honey badger, which allows it to absorb serious blows without taking too much damage to their vitals. 
and with an HP stat similar to the gorilla, even if their opponents shot. didn't score <laughs> a hit, it's unlikely to mean an immediate game over. Stealth-wise, brown bears fare a little worse. Gotta be got matter of fact. Bears may not stick out that much visually, but they are some of the smelliest builds in the entire game, to the point where their odor often gives away their position long before they're detected via eyesight. Luckily for the brown bear, its incredible movement speed and endurance can allow it to close the distance on fleeing players, <laughs> even if they get a head start fleeing from the bear. W Sun Adventure too. With a top speed Literally. roughly similar to a horse, very few builds That's can crazy. reliably escape a charge. That's crazy. The top speeds as a horse. Horse is already fast. Add that to the fact a freaking strong ass, durable ass bear. Literal GG. There's literally if once he has his way with you, there's literally nothing you can do. Charging bear, especially given that bears can climb without issue as well. For those keeping track, this puts the bear's stats pretty much all either above or equal to the gorillas, with the exception of stealth. Of course, there's one stat we still haven't discussed yet. That's crazy. The bear's intelligence. When it comes to the gorilla versus grizzly debate, one thing that's often brought up is the gorilla, that the gorilla should be able to use its intelligence to easily <laughs> smart the bear Yo, and gain a significant upper hand. Unfortunately for the gorilla, I vehemently disagree with this assessment. Not because gorillas aren't smart, but because bears are not dumb. A common quote you hear from human park ranger builds is that there's a great deal of overlap between the intelligence of the smartest bears and the dumbest humans, to the point where designing an effective bear-proof storage container is often impossible because it will also keep out a good number of humans it was meant to be used by. <laughs> bears are the most intelligent of all carnivoran builds, smarter than cats, dogs, weasels, foxes, seals, and hyenas. Huh. Their giant brains are a necessity in order to memorize the key points of interest across That's the vast so territories. That's so crazy. And for them to strategize how to access the best quality loot. Smart as this isn't to say the grizzly bear is going to invent some galaxy brain gorilla trap on the spot. The nunchucks? Anything, but neither is the gorilla. <laughs> Gorillas are incredibly. Bro, that has to be. <laughs> that gotta be AI, bro. That gotta be. <laughs> the fact that he's he's, the fact that he's easily moving them nunchucks like that is crazy. On on twos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> gorilla trap on the spot that that's again. crazy but neither is the gorilla. that's funny gorillas are incredibly intelligent builds for sure that's funny but their intelligence manifests in their complex social dynamics and their tool use in this scenario it's 1v1 so the social dynamics is a non-factor that just leaves their tool use and in this regard i think most players drastically overestimate the gorilla's abilities gorillas are not supreme bushcraft weaponsmiths in fact their use of weapons at all is almost non-existent in the gorilla player base they will use rocks to more efficiently access insect larvae but as for personal defense, the only strategy gorillas have access to is the intimidation-based technique of tossing debris in an adversary's general direction. When done in groups, so this is extremely effective, <clears throat> and is often how a party of gorillas will ward off an approaching leopard in their natural ecosystem. They're not long range. But one versus one builds. versus a bear, there is no way this would be enough to deter an attack. The bear's own high intelligence would give it a high chance to resist the intimidation effect. And once the bear <laughs> has closed the distance, Instance, the bear is winning this fight at least 95% of the time. The w. gorilla would need not one, but several critical hits in a row to successfully take down a bear. Meanwhile, the bear would only need a few good bites and swipes before it's game over for yeah, the Yeah, I think the bear so will... ultimately, that's yeah. how I think this matchup would go. Admittedly, I think it's a bit unfair to set up a scenario where the gorilla's most powerful ability is taken off the table, but the bear remains completely untouched. Okay. But that's the downside of investing in team tactics. If you ever find yourself caught off guard with no allies nearby, you might lose battles that you should otherwise at least have a fighting chance in. It's crazy if you find that this little analysis bird. unsatisfactory, we can approach it another way, which would be to take a look at their matchup spread and see if we can find any easy comparisons. Okay. While gorillas and bears never encounter each other in the wild and have no experience fighting each other, both the gorilla and the brown bear need to contend with big cats. While obviously not that would in North be a good America, that would be a good servers, match. brown bears actually sometimes share hunting territory with the tiger. This is the largest big cat build in existence, one which was powerful enough to, on rare see occasion, that. take down rhinos and elephants Crazy. solo. Matchups between bears and tigers tend to be pretty even. While there are recorded instances of tigers defeating bears and bears defeating tigers, generally these matchups tend to end in stalemates where neither player is truly defeated. Mm. However, when we take a look at the gorilla's matchup spread against its most common big cat opponent, the leopard, we see that the gorillas actually tend to lose this matchup. 
Leopards are far less powerful really? than tigers, yet nonetheless, even uh, maybe they just wear them down or something. Gorillas. I think this is more a function of the difference in the bear and gorilla's defensive stats than its offensive stats. Okay. Even with its above average constitution stats, the gorilla's low defenses make it too much of a glass cannon. And in a massive slugfest fight like the subject of this video, the inability to absorb a lot of damage is an absolutely crippling disadvantage. God, I feel like a gorilla could no, be the leopard though. I get though. this question at least <clears throat> once a week. It's to the point where if someone DMs me saying, I have a question, I just answer, the bear wins. And like 50% of the time, that's all they need. Now you know why. Hopefully you see me that's as funny. an unbiased and trustworthy source for these sorts of analyses. W. But that's it. So Brat Gorilla versus the Grizzly Bear. Um, I I, I figured that the bear would, would beat the gorilla, man. I didn't know like the the gorilla's defenses were a little on the on the low end. I thought it was you no, know, that was pretty durable. Just hearing that uh, a leopard could beat a gorilla more times than not, I thought the gorilla would beat. Well, I thought the gorilla would beat him more. But I don't know. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. You know what to do. I'm out.